Porter Ranch is a suburban neighborhood located in the northwestern portion of the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles. Nestled against the Santa Susana Mountains, it offers stunning views and a tranquil atmosphere. The community is known for its spacious and upscale homes, many of which I have featured on this channel and my other channel. And a majority of them are located in gated neighborhoods. The neighborhood features Porter Ranch Town Center and the vineyards at Porter Ranch that offers a variety of shopping, dining, and entertainment options, such as an AMC movie theater right next to Gus's Barbecue a couple different breweries, and residents do enjoy the numerous parks and outdoor activities that Porter Ranch offers, such as Porter Ridge Park and the scenic Aliso Canyon Park, which you'll see the residents doing some hiking at in the trails above, or maybe having a picnic on the grass at the parks. Conveniently located right next to the 118 freeway, Porter Ranch is in a great location, making it easy to commute anywhere else in the LA or Ventura County. And the blend of the natural beauty, the top tier amenities, new shops, new builds, new homes, family-friendly environment, all of this combined does make Porter Ranch just a phenomenal option when looking to move somewhere throughout the Los Angeles County. And as I said, I've done a ton of videos on Porter Ranch because of all the new construction homes that have been built there in the past several years. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Darren Kriz. I have a real estate sales and marketing team out here. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in property every single day. We do focus on new construction communities, which is why I have talked about Porter Ranch a lot but there are still tons of questions that I'm asked all the time specifically about Porter Ranch because of the numerous amounts of videos that I have done talking about these beautiful homes and if you do want to see house tours of those homes I'm not going to be doing that in this video I have done that in several other videos so check out the rest of my channel if you want to personally walk through these houses with me and in this video I'm gonna dive into a map tour for you guys on the Porter Ranch neighborhood and just discuss everything it has to offer so let's get into it and boom, here we are. Porter Ranch is everything. Located in between the red lines, you can see that my map is showing you guys. So primarily it is north of the 118 freeway. We would consider most of this down south of the Northridge area. So I'm just gonna be talking about the north of the 118 freeway here. And in 2024, there have been a lot of changes to Porter Ranch. So if you have seen my 2023 video where I talk about Porter Ranch, you can do that. But the homes are so much different now. There are a few other newer communities that have been built and almost fully built out and definitely sold out. There is one specific community I'll be talking about the ridge that is flattened homes are being sold i think they're about halfway through that community and also if you have any questions about any specific neighborhoods in general or specific lots or if you're interested in maybe purchasing one of these in the future all the information is down in the description but we're going to talk about what porter ranch has to offer so growing up in the san fernando valley as that's where i grew up I have been to Porter Ranch and I've seen the changes that it's been that they've been making there over the past several years, such as the Porter Ranch Town Center, which is where we're gonna start, show you the satellite here. So this used to be just dirt lots, right? This left side right here. The right side here, the Porter Ranch Town Center, the, the original one, has always been here. This was the original retail outlet malls here in Porter Ranch. Not really considered malls, but there's a great In-N-Out burger there, there's an Islands, there's everything, there's a Walmart, there's a Ralph's, it's where you're gonna be doing your grocery shopping, it's where you're gonna be doing everything if you are living in this Porter Ranch area. As I said, primarily made up of gated communities up above, but we'll touch on that in a second. They do have some nice restaurants over here, such as Subway, just a high-end five-star restaurant, completely joking, probably not the best establishment. But there's a nice sushi cuisine where they used to have teppanyaki style. They would cook it in front of you, you know, when they stack up the onions and make a little volcano. I don't know if they do that there anymore, but that used to be the spot to go back in the day. And they have a couple other little places to eat. As I said, in and out the islands. But this is the main attraction on the opposite side. Brand new within the past few years since they've been building all these, about a dozen Toll Brothers communities up in the Porter Ranch area. They have been building this entire shopping center as well, where they do have an AMC. Let's see if I can drop this guy here. No, not really. But they have an AMC movie theater, which is amazing. Probably not going to see an updated version from that map. 
As I said in the intro, we've got a Finney's Craft House right there. There's a ramen place. There's a gelato spot. There's a Gus's Barbecue. There's a Cycle Club. There's basically everything that Porter Ranch was missing in the original town center. They've built a more of a high-end town center here. where We've got a Whole Foods Market now. You've got a Chipotle, a Habit, a Cava, a Paxi's Pizza, C's Candies. I mean, can't go wrong. And then they even have high-end dining such as Lure Fish House right here, right next to a Mendocino Farms. So anything you want to eat and just do on a day-to-day -day basis, week-to-week -week basis, the new town center does offer for anyone of all ages. And then they also did build a couple um, hospitals right there. You've got the Kaiser, they've got the UCLA Health here in Porter Ranch right next door across the street. And if you think it's missing, um, you know, it's pretty much got everything so far in this little space, but you've also have a Shepherd of the Hills Church. There are celebrities that go to that church, one being Manny Pacquiao I know has been seen there, and a lot of other celebrities that live in the North San Fernando Valley area will tend to visit this Shepherd of the Hills Church. And with the prices of a lot of these homes going up to close to $4 million, there are wealthy celebrities and just people of high net worths that have been living in these Toll Brothers new construction home communities. So what I'm gonna do now is drop my little guy and we're gonna go on a little driving tour, a little driving map tour now. So you can see this is Rinaldi, the street that parallels with the 118. And we're gonna go all the way to Mason and then head up just so we can get a little street view of Porter Ranch. This is this is me doing a street view. I mean, if you guys have been a long-term viewer of the channel and you just like to see what LA looks like, I used to do driving tours in Porter Ranch, and now I'm doing a virtual driving tour here. Those are, those are fun, maybe coming soon in the future. If you've watched this far, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you want to know more about these communities, these neighborhoods, and just the cities in general in Los Angeles. So. If you keep going up Mason, that's where you're gonna find all the different communities. You've got a couple right here. You've got Veventania and Sonoma. These are some of the older apartment homes. Those can be in the more affordable price points under a million dollars, which is nice. Then you've got Sorrento here on the left. A little bit uh, bigger homes, nice gated communities. And those could be maybe two to 2,500 square feet. One to $2 million still, but 20 years ago, they weren't one to two million, even though I don't even think they're 20 years old just yet. Mid 2000s was when those were built. But if you keep going up Mason, it's a little outdated this specific map, but let's see what we are looking at once we turn down into the Toll Brothers communities. There we go, here's a sign for us. So we've got the West Cliff, the Canyons and the Hillcrest three of the Toll Brothers communities here in Porter Ranch. We're gonna get right up to the gate. And there are, let me think, maybe 20 model homes that have been showcased and built out. Model homes or show homes so that the potential buyer can see what the future homes are going to look like. I have done full home tours of every single one of them that have been built in this neighborhood. And the ones that have popped off, was the one in Westcliff, the first one I ever filmed in Westcliff. I think the uh, Verona or the Vera, I forgot the exact model, but that got over a million views on YouTube. If you wanna see that, what that looks like, it originally started at 1.5 million when I bought, when I first made that video in 2020, and guess what it's going for now? I think that home went for 3.5 just a few years later. So these definitely have been appreciating like crazy but there are a ton of homes see you can even tell from this satellite image that they aren't fully done but now they are in this area the last one available is right here uh, the ridge goes all the way down red hawk lane and then north star and i think it's half built out right now here on the left side those are starting about 1.9 maybe 2 1 range and that is because Pretty much all the ones along the ridge have been sold out because they do offer these views of the mountains that you don't typically get anywhere in the valley or in Los Angeles. And as you keep going up and up, more homes, the ridge, the Renaissance community, and that is, it goes all the way up to the top of the mountains there. 
tons and tons of homes. I've done dozens and dozens of showings and, and I do know there's one question that everyone always asks me and there are tons of inquiries that always come in every single week about Porter Ranch specifically. Everyone always asks about the gas leak because when you do search up Porter Ranch on Google, let me just try to do that right now for you guys. Porter Ranch, does this come up? personal experience with the gas leak. They did get compensated for the evictions that were happening. $1.8 billion settlement, as you can see, it was in 2015, but nothing of any sort has even happened or has been remotely close of happening since then. And there's been, it really is just something that people freak out about, like the earthquakes in Los Angeles. If you're gonna freak out about maybe an earthquake every 10 years or so, then so be it, you can live your life um, being a little too scared of going outside. Just stay in your house and don't take any risks. This is not even a risk moving to Porter Ranch. It's actually probably better for you that some people are not taking the advantage of moving into these new construction communities that have been appreciating like crazy because if you were scared in 2020 to buy these homes, well, you definitely missed out because now they are doubled in value. But aside from that, let's go back down to Rinaldi Street and just show you here this is Porter Valley Country Club. You might have seen some greenery on the east side if you were looking at this map with me. Porter Valley Country Club technically in Porter Ranch, Northridge, Granada area, kind of smacked in the middle of all of those three cities, neighborhoods, and this is a very nice country club. So if you're into golf, this is the only golf course in the northern San Fernando Valley. There are a few in the southern. This is the only country club that it does offer. So if you're into hobbies, activities, getting outdoors, aside from just hiking, which you can do up here in the Santa Susana Mountains, there are a few nice trails throughout Cezanne. I mean, there's a ton of not great trails up there. And scenic views, absolutely incredible. Porter Valley Country Club. And if you go south, there's even more stores, the Amazon Fresh, Jack in the Box. That is, that is the, uh, Probably the best part about this tour so far, you've got a jack-in-the-box in Porter Ranch slash Northridge slash Granada Hills if we keep on moving. So, and then also convenience and location of Porter Ranch, if you don't really know, San Fernando Valley is this entire area that I'm circling right now. Porter Ranch is in the northwest portion of the entire Los Angeles County because the cutoff for the Ventura County is right here, right after Chatsworth. You go into Simi Valley, that's where the Ventura County is. So you are technically in the county of Los Angeles, but you can easily get anywhere you want, such as Hollywood, downtown Los Angeles, or the beach even, just by hopping on the 118 freeway in two minutes, and then boom, down the 405, you just makes it very convenient because you're not maybe in the central part, in the heart of Northridge or anywhere else that is not close to a freeway because it's nice to be able to commute around and not have to stay confined to your own neighborhood, which is what you'd have to do if you lived in West Hollywood or Beverly Hills. So you get the perks of living in such a luxurious and affluent neighborhood and community, but you're only gonna be living there without having your whole day planned around going elsewhere in Los Angeles, which is why it's nice to be near a freeway, specifically the 118 freeway, which is a very small freeway in LA. And that was everything about Porter Ranch specifically. It's not that big of a city, so there's not that much to touch on. It borders Chatsworth, a great area as well. As I said, Northridge, Chatsworth, Granada, and I have, helped dozens and dozens of clients move. I probably have done more showings in Porter Ranch than almost anywhere else throughout the Los Angeles County because of the amount of videos and content that we've put out discussing the Porter Ranch secrets, the hidden gems, these beautiful homes that I absolutely love and I love what they've been doing with the area because I did grow up in that part of the valley as well. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us. My team and I are happy to help you. As I said, we help clients buy, sell, and invest in property every single day, specializing in these new construction homes, hidden gems, and everywhere else throughout the greater Southern California region. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe for more tours, map tours, house tours, and me discussing about Los Angeles in general. Absolutely love living in this beautiful city that I call home. Hope you guys are having a great day and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.